Okay, so the idea is to take JB Weld and join two pieces like this along their edge and see how strong we can get it. And if you're looking at this to find out, does JB Weld hold aluminum nice and strong? Well, I'll save you from watching the whole rest of it. Uh, here it is, and it worked excellent. And I used the milling machine to... to uh, do a little finishing on the surface but it's perfect and what this did was allowed me to use these this bar stock instead of taking a big piece like this and trimming it I needed this width and by joining these two I got exactly what I wanted and the JB weld works perfect so and so the trick is that I learned from watching other people and then doing it myself was to rough the edges good. To, I roughed the edge on both sides where I put, make this join. And it worked perfect. This, this is exactly what I wanted. And it's excellent. Alright, so I'll now show you how I did it. For those of you who just want to know about JB Weld and Aluminum, yes, it is a total go excellent for making joins even where it seems like it might be weak it's very strong okay we're going to build another under frame and we're going to use some jb weld and aluminum i got two pieces of bar stock here that have cut to the right length and i have roughed up the edges and i want to join these edge to edge and so I thought, well, I could JB weld it. I don't know if it would be strong enough to put it in the milling machine if I did that. Then I watched a video of a guy who joined two like this and then hung a cinder block off the one end and it held it. And you put a second one on it and it broke. But that's a lot of strength. And we're going we're gonna to be joining a lot of surface area and and compared to what he did so jb well it's probably going to be just the thing so what i'm going to do here i'm going to go ahead need two equal amounts let's just draw a line i think that's probably enough okay i'm going to take the other part and we will draw that line Okay. okay, we got our stuff, gonna mix it. Use this exacto knife here. So let's get them good and mixed up. Start to turn that gray color. There we go, okay. Now, I'm gonna use I've got this corner clamp here, right here. It's for clamping corners. But for what we're going to do right here, this, that thing's going to work perfect for having these things clamped together. All right, so let's go ahead and get a nice good amount on here. And I did rough it up pretty good, so I'm hoping to get it to grab on real nice. Okay, now I'm just going to kind of eyeball these together. Make sure that I can see a bead on both sides. And then I want kind of work it in a little bit here. I don't really care how messy it is because we're going to sand it and stuff. 
and let's go ahead. Put a piece of paper. Whoops! I put a piece of paper in there so that I wouldn't get get the. I don't want to glue this thing to my vise. Nope. Let's just set them down in there. Make sure he's on the paper. Okay. So now I'm going to bring the other piece up. Okay, now I'm going to get a good clamp here. Okay. There we go. Now let's go ahead and uh, do a little filling in. Just a little bit there. Make sure that he's pretty much level. I think he's good enough. I don't want to end up actually bowling this join so that it's not level. I don't want the top and the bottom to be kind of flat. And I want it to be nice and filled in. this guy up. I don't want to glue one piece to the other. Okay. And, and, and. Okay, now we're going to let that set up and then we'll come back later and clean it up and see how strong it is. It has now been 24 hours. We're going to take this guy out of the vise. Let's see what we got here. Well, we glued the paper successfully to... We successfully glued a piece of paper to the other one. Okay, so that's good. All right, let's, let's check it out here. Feels hard, that's for sure. Okay, so I'm gonna clean this up. I'm gonna put this in the in the mill over here, and I'm gonna see if I can use a fly cutter on it. So I'll show you what that does. We'll see if we can use a fly cutter to clean this. It should be way easier than sanding this or filing it or grinding it. And I'll show you the other advantage to doing a fly cutter. Then Shadow stopped over yesterday and I got him. To go, go ahead and make that for me. So this is our this is our special secret project, tentatively known as alligator. So it should be the two Mark Eight trucks, S some kind of tiny fuel tank in the middle, and then. One way or another, it'll look like some kind of alligator looking thing. That's where we're at that. Alright, I'm gonna load this up and then we're gonna we're gonna see if we can uh, get rid of all that excess glue and see how strong we still got it. Okay, here it is. We got it. Pretty nice. Did the fly cutter and got a decent surface. And it worked. It worked. This is going to be the base for our for our frame for a cap unit. And then we'll have to mill some holes and things. No problem. It's strong. And it held up to the fly cutter with no problem. So that is a go. JB Weld seems to be awesome stuff for aluminum and like you saw i roughed the edges good because i already watched other people do it and roughing the edges was one thing that came out from some of the other videos i saw so rough the edges good and you'll get good join and we got an awesome join and polished up nicely 
All right, so we are good to go on the beginnings of the underframe for the cap unit. So I have to say that's a go.